Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada ISCC, has begun initiating a variety of changes that will affect all newcomers to Canada in 2024. As announced in the Immigration Levels Plan for 2024 to 2026, Canada aims to welcome a total of 485,000 permanent residents PUs, in 2024. Alongside this increased level of immigration, Canada is expected to launch updates across various programs and leverage artificial intelligence AI to streamline the client experience. Updates to the Express Entry System In 2023, IRCC began conducting category-based Express Entry draws. These draws were implemented to help Canada find foreign nationals best suited to address the country's most pressing labour gaps and demographic needs. In the first year of category-based draws, ICC chose to prioritise the following categories of immigration candidates, those with French language proficiency, those with recent work experience, in any of the following five industries, healthcare, science, engineering, technology and mathematics, STEM, trades, transport and agri-food. Agriculture. In 2024, ICC is expected to continue with category based draws. However, the department has made it clear that they will reassess the focus categories chosen for 2023 and potentially also them based on the changing needs of Canada's labour market. This means that new sectors and proficiencies may be chosen as areas of focus by ICC potentially enabling new groups of newcomers to be eligible for category-based express entry draws this coming year. New Provincial Nominee Programme Guidelines Provincial Nominee Programmes PNPs are immigration pathways that allow local governments to hand-select candidates that will best help them address labour market gaps. According to IRCC's latest Immigration Levels Plan, PNPs are projected to make up the country's biggest by immigration targets, immigration pathway in 2024. ICC is also introducing new multi-year plans. For the PNP starting in 2024, this will enable provinces and territories to better plan for their immigration strategies, as they will know their 2025 allocation a year in advance. Taken together, these new PNP developments mean that prospective Newcomers pursuing this immigration pathway should have a clearer picture of their options to immigrate to their province or territory of choice due to better planning by each regional government. More parents and grandparents program admission spaces. In 2023, Canada aimed to welcome 285,000 immigrants through the Parents and Grandparents Program PGP in 2024. The latest Immigration Levels Plan indicates that PGP targets will grow to 32,000 should ISCC prove able to improve intake management and the alignment of application inputs and outputs. More PGP applicants should be able to come to Canada in the coming year. Enhancements to Canada's International Student Programme To strengthen the integrity of the International Student Programme across Canada and better protect incoming foreign nationals, ISCC has launched a reformed letter of acceptance lower verification system that will continue to impact all study permit applicants. Designated learning institutions DLEs across Canada are now required to confirm every applicant's letter of acceptance directly with ISCC. The department says that this new enhanced verification process aims to protect prospective students from fraud while ensuring that study permits are issued based only on genuine LOA letters. ISCC also announced on November 2023 that the department will be conducting a review of its post-graduation work permit PGWP program. Many international students who intend to apply for PR benefit from the PGWP as the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS score treats Canadian work experience favourably 
This review is expected to result in ISCC introducing reforms that better calibrate the PGWP to the needs of the country's labour market, as well as regional and francophone immigration goals. New ISCC Advisory Board. Furthermore, ISCC will develop a new advisory body to focus on matters relating to immigration policy and service delivery. Uniquely, this board will include people with lived experience in immigration, allowing newcomers to Canada to have more say in programs and processes affecting them. This new advisory board hopes to strengthen policy and program developments while ensuring that Canada's immigration system remains anchored in a human-centric approach. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.